Yo 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 beast from yo yo beast production, you know, back with another um mixcraft tutorial. And I know I promised my subscribers, you know, word is born. I know I promised my subscribers that I was gonna um do a tutorial on how I actually make the 808 itself. You know, I'm not gonna teach y'all too much, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna be nice just so that everybody can get the concept of mixcraft. So Everybody don't get that mentality of thinking that Fruity Loops is the only DAW that you gotta use to make fucking trap beats. No, there's others out there too. No, I like to use mixed craft because of a lot of reasons, but I'm gonna get into that later. But basically, what you want is an oscillator. You know, there's, there's a lot of them out there. You know, it's basically what the 808 kick drum is is a um, modulated, you know, sound wave, a modulated frequency. So basically, um, as this attack of the um kick drum of the 808 happens, it's basically the pitch is being shifted so fast that it gives it that boom. You know, one of my plugins that I like to use, you know, my favorite is a um, massive. Um, and the reason why I like to use massive because it it gets more in depth into the science massive behind like you know, like this frequency modulation. Basically, you know, when you're using massive. You want you want to add like where it says envelope three. You want to take this and you want to drag it and drop it here. You know, basically you get a, a, a simple you know, wave. You know. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn turn this up to um turn this down probably to like negative 40, 45 or something like that. Then turn this up, probably like 50 or so. You know, it's, it starts getting there. Then I'm gonna turn on the intensity, you know, somewhere around where right, right, right. Then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the attack. You know, it's got that little hum to it. I want more of an attack. I like to keep my decay, you know, low. But if you want like a club, like type 808 kick drum, you turn the decay up, of course. You know, that, that gives it, you know, it's a long modulation. You know, as the attack happens. You know, but if you're a trap beat maker like me, I will keep you it's like somewhere around there. And if you want to like brighten it up a little bit, you know, throw a little um parametric equalizer in there. I like to use um image line parametric equalizer. You know, same company that makes you know, kind of peek it out a little bit. Yeah, I like that one right there. like a fat sound to it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just record it let's record quite at least two bars for it and then just right click the channel and just go down to where it says mix down to a new audio track just click that and what it's gonna do is gonna mix it down to a wave or audio wave file and then you see it here
what I'm gonna do is I don't really trust etiquette in it in mixed craft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of my ex external etiquettes, which is Gold Waves. Click, Etic click that, and it's now present in Gold Wave. And now Gold Wave, I'm gonna zoom in. You know, there's a lot of um external audio editors out there, you know, such as Audacity, you know, Gold Wave. There's a whole lot. I'm gonna leave that. Make sure it got it has its attack. You know, as long as it has that home, that's all that matters. All right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just save this. Save this to my desktop. 808. Shit. 808. Drone. Yeah, like, like DSPL content. You know, I like these direct away for a lot of reasons. Um, let me just go to my desktop. Drive the 808 drone. Back to, into Mixcraft. Drop it. And you should be able to use it. Then we want if you want to get fancy with it, you could like you know equalize it. You know, it Give it that trap bang game. I got the basic concept of it. Bump and stuff if you want. You know you could enhance the uh, low frequency down here. You know, it gives it more of that kick. But it also might distort. So you might want to be careful about you know boosting low frequency. And that's how you make an 808 kick drum. Hope this video helped. Please subscribe, comment, and rate. Thank you for watching. And also, if you need any bangers, hit me up at P-O-Y-O-B at AOL.com. I'm out. Peace.